Welcome one and all to the demo for Iconia Defenders. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today the Tree of Life is being corrupted. I'll need to strategically place defensive towers, create a maze to funnel my enemy, and make choices from a variety of build-defining upgrades. But even in defeat, I can use my resources to unlock new elemental towers and synergies, then choose which map modifiers to tackle next. Can my setup deal with everything from wolves to orcs? Let's find out in Iconia Defenders. All right, here we go with the demo for Iconia Defenders. It is the week of the Steam Next Fest where I showcase off a bunch of upcoming games. This one is a tower defense and roguelite hybrid. Now, as of this recording, this demo is available for you to download and try for yourself. If you want to check it on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. But for now, let's get right into it and play. Wake up. Wake up, Defender. The Tree of Life is calling. Wake up, Defender. What's that voice? I am the Tree of Life, your creator. You have lost your memory and fell asleep. The Tree of Life. It looks like your powers are gone too. That's not good. Powers? Oh, I am very confused. Yes. Eons ago, I formed you with power and might, but now I don't sense any of it. Nothing makes sense. What happened? There is no time. I will explain you later. Now you must protect this structure at all cost. It is a corruption extractor. An army of creatures controlled by the corruption is coming. Don't let them reach it. What? How am I supposed to protect it? Oh, here we go. In Iconia Defenders, you can place structures and defenses by playing cards. At the bottom of the screen, you have a hand of five cards. Click on the Archer Tower card. Archer Towers are weak, but they have a pretty good attack speed. The area around it represents their attack range. Now click on the highlighted zone to play the card. Perfect. Now, right below your tower are footprints. They represent where the enemies will come from, and it is an approximation of the path that they will take. Usually, the longer they are under your tower's attack range, the better. Let's place a wall in their path. Click on the highlighted wall. To rotate the wall, you can press Q or E, and now place the wall in the highlighted area. Can I rotate with the scroll wheel? I cannot. Alright, you want me to put it here, but I feel like this would be better, putting it around. But we'll do this. Since you have placed a wall in the path, the footprints were updated to follow a different one. Sadly, right now, it isn't any good, because the enemies will be even further from your archer tower. Let's place another wall to make them go closer to your tower. Click the highlighted wall. Now place the wall in the highlighted area. Great. I placed the other two cards for you. You are ready to defend your extractor. Click on the start wave button to start the enemy's attack. Oh, <laughs> I like how the, the button is an oh no. Okay, can we edge scroll? We can. Oh, there you are. Coming out some sort of portal. We have a new tip to move the game's camera. Move the mouse close to the edges of the screen. You can also use the movement keys to zoom in or out. You can use the scroll wheel. And we have a new enemy. Goblins, little and mischievous. Goblins are weak, but their strength lies in the numbers. They only have 30 health. No damage reduction for magic or physical. And they're weak. How far can we zoom out? Very nice. Oh, I like how the art on the enemies changes when they get damaged. Congratulations, you have survived the wave. After every wave, the extractor transforms the extracted corruption's essence into a powerful superior gem, which you can choose. You will also get some regular gems as part of the process. Okay, we have a discard. Plus one discard spell discards the cards at the left and right of this spell. 
of Purge removes a curse from your hand, deck, or discard pile, or a flash sale. Generates a one-time or one-use copy of the cheapest tower in your possession. I don't know what is good here, so let's go with this two-for-one deal. Here are some extra cards for you. They are being added directly to your deck. Click on the deck button to get a new hand of cards. This time it was free, but clicking on it again will cost you gold based on the amount of unused cards in your hand. Each time you ask for a new hand, its price will increase. From now on, most of the cards you will also have a price in gold. This will increase every time you play them. These are your resources. The heart is your extractor's health. Every time an enemy touches the extractor, its health decreases. If it reaches zero, the extractor will implode and you will lose the game. Below the health, you have gold. This is what we use to play cards, upgrade towers, and pick new hands from the deck. We get gold by killing enemies and playing certain cards. The extractor also collects some gold after every wave. Finally, there are gems. These represent the corruption the extractor transformed into regular gems. Gems can be exchanged for new types of cards and skills in the skill tree. Last but not least, you can click on the towers in the map to see their details. You can also right click to cancel any action. Good luck, don't forget to click on the start wave button once you are ready. Alright, what do we got here? We have this. What is this? Can I... Oh, no, I don't want to place it. Can I right click? Left click picks it up. I don't know what this is. Okay, I can left click on anything on the map to see what it is. Target priority, max level. But I wish this had a tool tip. Is there a way? What is this over here? Oh, my superior gems. What if I go here? Nope. Can I, oh, this, this will draw more cars. I don't want that. Can I look at my discard? Oh, I, oh, see, here's the tool tip, but I don't have a tool tip for whatever this is. Well, we're going to place it. It's presumably an attack card. But we do want to maybe make some sort of spiral. Like this. And like that and then we'll place this one right here we can redraw for 40 but let's just keep i guess we just keep doing this and now it costs 20 okay and this is not a great piece actually just get rid of it it costs the same anyway. Oh, another tower. Yes. Excellent. We will place that here and continue making a little spiral. Oh, they connect. Very nice. I didn't even notice that. Oh, this is an interesting card. I kind of want, I kind of want to like that. But it won't exactly... Oh, because I'm blocking. No, I don't want that. Uh, you know, we'll put that over there. We can put this like that. Let's draw some more for free. I don't know if I should be using up all my gold or saving it, but I do like another tower. Oh, where do I want this? I guess... Yes, right here. And if we do this, that'll send them up that way. And then yeah, just keep making this giant spiral. Oh, we're out of we're out of gold. Okay. I guess we gotta start the wave. We have a speed up here as well. Times one and times two. Can we use any other button for that? Like the number keys? Oh, we can. The number keys work. We have a new enemy. Minion. Orc. Known for their strength and aggression, orcs are brutal warriors that live within war clans. They are slow. They get a damage reduction from physical attacks. Oh, I can right-click on this now, right? What is this? 
or I left click on it. It's an arcane mage. Magical damage. 25 seconds or 0.25 per second attack speed. Oh, click me. Yes. There are two main types of damage in Iconia Defenders, physical damage and magical damage. Some enemies can resist a percentage of one or both the damage types. For example, the orcs have a natural resistance to physical attacks. Oh, well, that's not good. Well, they got a ways to go, so we can whittle them down. Let's uh, speed it up. Oh, yeah, excellent. Okay, it's a good thing we spent a bunch of our gold. All right, we have a discard spell. Discards the cards to the left and right. A purge to remove curse or crit chance on our archers. Let's grab that. It also said something about using gold to upgrade. Oh, but it's max level. What about this one? Also max level. All right. Uh, oh, we have little footprints and big footprints. That's very interesting. Do I want to reroll this? I mean, we can just keep placing some of these down. And hopefully get a... Yes, that's good. Actually, is that good? I kind of want you to cover more area. Although, okay, hold on. Let us... Maybe if we keep making the maze. Because I wouldn't mind it covering multiple parts of the maze, but that's not quite... I don't think we can quite do that unless we get the maze all the way down here. I don't think I have enough gold for that. So, you know what? We are just going to... We're going to place you right there. And we're going to do this. And actually, maybe we save our gold. Do these cards stay? It looks like they do. Can I can I build while... Oh, we can. I can build during a wave. Oh, slow down, slow down. What do we got here? You can always change the game's speed by using the keys one and two. You can also click on the button at the top right of the screen. And a new enemy, this giant goblin chief, a mini boss. Leaders of small goblin tribes renowned for their cunning and deceit. You are big, but you're also weak. You have no resistance to attacks. Oh, there are a lot of enemies. We're definitely gonna be taking some damage here. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Target the most health. Uh, oh, interesting. It's a terrestrial and aerial. Uh, most health. Oh, I don't, th I don't think we're getting them down. Maybe. Oh, no. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage. Oh, that was so much damage. The goblin chief did, what, five damage? All right, we got to get these guys down. Uh, speed it up. Could probably use a times three speed as well. Oh, what is this? Choose a cursed gem. War wolves plus 60% health or all enemies have a 30% chance to become golden. Immune to burning, chilled, and frozen effects, but give plus 10 gold on death. We'll grab that one. That one sounds, <laughs> that sounds better than the other one. All right, we got a bunch of enemies incoming. We have 543 gold to work with. Uh, let's keep doing this. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh, there we go. That looked really weird. It had them not even going into our base at all. Like that. <laughs> Does that mean they're not going in? But if I take it back out and recalculate, there we go. Uh, 
you know what, just place that right there for now. Get a free reroll. Get a tower. Oh, there's a two for one. We get another archer in there. And we're going to put this archer... Oh man, can I get this going out this way? Can I put this right here next to this one? And it'll cover this area and cover this area. But I need this to... Oh, did I mess this up? Wait a minute. What was I doing here? We're going this way. So I need to go this way. Uh, all oh, these ones aren't great. Uh, no. I don't want to entirely block this off. 120 to reroll? No. We're just going to call in the wave. Oh, a new enemy. These are the wolves. A war wolf. Large, fearsome creatures bred specifically for combat. You take reduced damage from magical attacks. You are also very fast. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's the golden enemy. All right, are we doing okay? I think we're doing okay so far. Speed it up. Yeah, I could use a times three or times four. All right, they're going to come back around here, but we got the magical attacks on them a second time. All right, excellent. All right, we are we are holding at three health on our extractor. We get a discard spell, a purge spell, or more attack speed on the mages. We're gonna do that. All right, uh, and there's yeah. I wish I could see. I can't see what the wave is gonna be, right? No. Which might be on purpose. Let's go. I mean, we're just going to put this somewhere. Let's put it right here. And let us place this like that. There we go. This is a bit better. Okay. We want this like that. And these guys are going to come around there. Excellent. That's exactly where I want them all to go. And we're going to put... this there. All right, how are we doing? We have to block all of this off to get them to go start over in that direction. But for now, We'll just go like that. Do another free one. Do we have... There we go. Oh, but it's 240. We don't have enough. All right. Call in the wave. Wave number five. What do we got? We got some goblins. We got some orcs. A new enemy. A shaman. Goblins with magic knowledge. They conduct rituals and take care of their tribe's health. Oh, they heal allies and they take reduced damage from magic attacks. All right, let's speed it up. Uh, can we come over here? Most health, least health, random, aerial, terrestrial first. So I can't specifically target the healers. Can I click on the enemies? Oh no, I wish I could click on the enemies so I could see their stats again. I don't know if the shamans have more health than everybody else, but I think we're doing okay. 
Oh, okay. You stop and you heal. No, this is not good. They're going to heal each other. They're all going to get through. None of them are even damaged. Oh, yeah. See, we damage them and then they just heal. <laughs> we can only we can only take three hits. Uh, oh, wait. Can I place? I don't have enough gold to place another tower. Take one of them down? Oh, we can't even take one of them down. All right, well, this is curtains for us. Wave five, time survived 18 minutes, got a bunch of gold. Can we, if I press that, okay, it just brings it all up, very nice. That didn't end well. And definitely the power you carried in the past is not in you anymore. What, did I die? No. I made you immortal. You can't die. But the extractor was destroyed. Without the extractor, there is no sense to stay in that timeline anymore. Timeline? Yes. Each of my branches is a timeline in the universe where life can flourish in multiple ways. And where am I? I brought you to my roots. This is a space not bound to any timeline. And is the origin of everything. So what happened to my timeline? It is doomed to corruption, and the branch will eventually die. Every life form in it will suffer and perish. There is nothing we can do for it but to try again. Try again? Yes. I will send you back to that specific moment when the extractor was built. But first, you don't have the powers to defeat the corruption. You need to recover them. How? When I brought you here, the corruption that you extracted came with you, trapped into gems. I can transmute them into a life essence that can restore your powers and memories. Sounds good. Choose which powers you want me to restore and I will transmute your gems for it. All right. Welcome to the skill tree. After every branch that you try to defend, you will come back to this place. Here you can exchange the gems you collected into new cards and upgrades. In this panel, you can see your highest wave reached, your progress in the skill tree, some statistics, and your available gems. You can hover over them anytime to see what they are. This is the first skill of the skill tree. Every skill has a price in gems, and you can hover over them to see their details. Click on the skill to acquire it. Unlocks the Fire Mage and the Ice Mage Tower card. Excellent. Cost us a hundred. Scholar of the Fire Order throws fireballs to nearby enemies. Medium magic damage and has a chance to burn. Very low magic damage and impacts will chill enemies. I'm presuming that'll slow them down. Chilling power, chilling duration. Burning chance. Okay. New superior gems available. These gems can now appear after every wave. Archers adjacent to a fire mage will fire incendiary arrows. Incendiary arrows cause 20% additional magic damage. Oh, that's very cool. So we can synergize, essentially, different towers together. I like that. All right, we have 519 gems. Oh, these cost quite a bit. Archers adjacent to another archer get more attack speed. We can upgrade to level 3. Recycle, extra health, or more power to all of this, plus 8 and 12 attack damage. Okay, this is awfully expensive. Essentially, we're just using all of our gems to purchase that. So maybe we purchase a few of these instead. Might be better. Let's go with damage. And we can grab two more. 
we'll go fire attack speed and arcane base damage. Oh, and we're leveling up on the track here. So eventually we can unlock all of this. Oh, wow. There's a lot here. Well, there's a lot planned here. This is, of course, the demo. So I don't know if all of these are in the game. It says unavailable in the demo. So we can get up to... Oh, quite a lot, actually. Everlasting Winter, Burning Wounds, Arcane Instability, and all these new cards as well. Okay, let us start a new branch. Beware, Defender, you're about to start a new branch off the Tree of Life. Their branches represent the different timelines of the universe. Each one is unique and has different sets of modifiers, which will be different every time you play. Oh, interesting. I kind of like that, too. Makes every run feel different. Oh, what was that? Branch details. Hover your mouse over a branch to see its details. The first two modifiers of a branch determine its difficulty, and the harder the branch is, the more gems you will get. Once you are ready, click on the branch to choose it. All right, so extra health for enemies. Double, like, 10 extra health and then 40%. Towers are doing less damage, less range, and no other modifiers. We get extra gems. Plus five base health. Minions have a 15% chance to split in two smaller versions when killed. Mini boss has extra physical and damage resistance. And this one gives no extra gems. Well, if that gives no extra gems, we're going to pick the one that does give extra gems. But we do less magical damage. This could be very short-lived. In this panel, you can set up your starting cards. The cards are divided into three categories. Towers, walls, and spells. There are limits on how many cards you can carry of each kind. Click on the cards to select or deselect them, and once you are ready, click to confirm. Okay, so we have less magic damage, right? But I do want to try these... these out. So we can have, wait, minimum cards. Selected cards. Okay. But now we can't go any more. Oh, because we have all these. We have eight of these. Which only gives us two towers. So wait, let's take some of these off. Like this one isn't great. I'm not so fond of that one. That lets us do this or it doesn't oh here minimum and max i see how this works out now it's a little odd that the maximum is below the minimum i feel like it should be max on top and minimum below so we can only have two tower cards now can i go back and see less magical damage and less attack range but I feel like we still want a, a magical damage just so that we can benefit from some of those that have physical resistance as well. Okay, let's go. You know what? Let's try the burning. And I guess we'll just go with all of these. Actually, we can, we can go down to seven. So we can take two of these off. Let's take these two off. Or, oh no, we only have eight. What am, what am I talking about? <laughs> Still getting used to the UI. Okay. We can confirm this, right? No? What are we waiting on? Selected cards. We need at least ten cards. Oh, so we have to. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, interesting. We have minimum and maximum, not only in the separate categories, but also for the deck altogether. All right, so we're going to start off and take a look at this. We have them coming from two different directions. I wonder if we get different sort of biomes. That would be kind of interesting. Like if we would eventually get to like a lava biome and maybe it increases our fire damage, things like that. All right, we are going to 
kind of block this off and maybe set up some sort of circular pathway as we did before. This is actually not looking great. We're going to stick you in here and we're going to stick you over here. And okay, this is a little better. Oh, I, I don't like that card. Go like that. It just it just blocks off anything I want. Maybe if I go here. And then put this like that. Okay, how much do we have? 115 left. Go here with that. See if we can get another tower. We only have 95 though. Yeah, it costs too much. Okay, we're just gonna call in the wave. What do we got? Goblins again? Yes, goblins. Ah, oh, this is this is not set up. I did not plan this. I can't move anything, right? Oh, everything's at max level, so we can't upgrade anyway. Interesting in the the skill tree, it said upgrade to three. So I thought I'd be able to upgrade these to level two. But maybe I need to unlock something else for that. All right, burning enemies, extra damage received from any source. That's pretty good. Or an extra chance to burn is pretty good as well. Let's get an extra chance to burn. So does that also affect this down here? 45%, I didn't look at it before. I'm wondering if, if it actually changed this. I'm hoping it did. So that it updates dynamically depending on what we choose. All right, so we're gonna continue and try and get them to go all the way around here. We are going to, oh, I placed this incorrectly. I would love this to be here, but we can actually, we can put it here maybe, have them come around this way, block this off. That's not bad, that's not bad. There, <laughs> looks very awkward, uh, right there. Let's see if we can't get another tower, there's another tower. Which, oh, these cost a 170. They're more expensive than the others. Okay, we're just going to call in the wave then. Speed up a bit. What do we got? More goblins. I wish I could click on them or access some sort of bestiary. Oh, one of them is going to get through, isn't it? These orcs are the ones with the physical damage resistance. Oh no, we're good. All right, archers get more damage. We get a Cursed Architect spell, removes up to three walls from your deck or discard pile, replaces itself with a curse. Wait, what? So if we don't want walls. Attack speed and range. I feel like attack speed and range is pretty good. I don't know the colors of these two. These both are yellow. This is kind of a orange but these two look like they're glowing. I'm presuming these are of a higher rarity. We're gonna grab that. And we're going to place this one. Should I place this right here? It's very low range. I mean, I could place it here 
and eventually these are going to come around. I hope I have enough gold to get them around. Yeah, I definitely do. Uh, like that. And then this one just leaves itself open everywhere. We're going to go there. Another archer, 180, leaves us with 33, which cannot play anything. I'd rather play the archer for more damage. And I wouldn't mind placing it right here. It'll cover the outside and the inside. And this one does have what looks to be a mini boss. So I might want it right here. All right, let's call in the wave. See what we get. Is it the goblin? Was it goblin chief? It is the goblin chief, which wrecked us last time. Hopefully we can set him on fire. Does this reach? Oh, it doesn't reach right here. Oh, it does. Set him on fire. Yes. Excellent. Well, for a short period of time. Oh, wait. Do we go high health? Is it worth it to go high health? Or just get rid of all the smaller enemies. Well, I guess you're the only choice here. Can we burst you down? Oh, we're doing pretty good, actually. But you've gotten past our fire mages. 15, 16. We're getting some of those crits. Hey, we got you. Excellent. Okay, let's fast forward. Very nice. What do we get now? Oh no, a cursed gem. 60 health, 60% 60 health for the war wolves. <laughs> wolves or wolves or mini bosses. Plus 2% max HP regeneration. That sounds awful. But I feel like, I feel like doing this one. Instead of having every single wolf have extra health, just anytime we encounter a mini boss which is not going to be every wave. All right, we're going to do that. Let's put this here in preparation. Uh, this can go. Oh, this is not great. OK, we'll, we'll put it there. We're just going to place this one somewhere else. You go right over there. All right, mages. Uh, where do I want you? I kind of want you because we have the mages over here. I want you kind of separate out, separated out. Let's do that. Let's put this right here. Yeah, that's better. There you go. You hit this mage and you're going to hit it again coming around this way. All right, we're going to we're going to save our money. Call in the wave. Oh, we got a bunch of orcs. Oh, this is going to take a while. How many orcs are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So even if they all get through, which they won't, we'll still be alive. It's just how many can we take down? Oh, I like the increase in the attack speed here. Oh, 
Oh, come on, take them all down. Yes, we got it. All right, that was wave four. Extra crit, more extra crit chance. Or we get another Archer Tower card at its minimum price and two wall cards at their minimum price or attack speed on the Fire Mages. No, we're going with Hot Potato. Excellent. Again, I don't know if this updated 0.9. <laughs> I, I, I haven't memorized all of the, the stats. Uh, we have 567. Is it worth it just to... I feel like it's worth it just to reroll this entire thing. So I'm looking for towers. There's one. And we want this. We want this right here. Again, we're going to hit them twice on the inside and outside track. And oh, we can't afford anything else. Okay, well, call them in. Let's see if we can survive wave five. We got the healers. Maybe the burning will help. And we have increased attack speed. Some crit chance is not looking good, honestly. Um, first in, that's fine. The shamans are the first in. Oh, no, the... The goblins are catching up. Oh, and they're just healing everybody. Come on, mages. We need, we need a lot of, like, burst damage. Are there 10 enemies here? No. I hope not. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Down to two. We survived the wave. Those shamans are awful. Serious burn. Extra damage. A purge. We're not getting any curses. Or another flash sale. Uh, we're going to go with more burning. All right. Oh, these guys, guys are coming in this way. We do not want them to do that. We got a boss as well coming from the north. We need to block off this area. And, oh, well, we can't afford much of anything else. We're just going to have to go. Wave six. Is this a new boss? It is. New enemy. The Orc Commander, the strongest Orc in a war clan whose position is often challenged by their own followers. Damage reduction for physical attacks. Big, slow, and, and strong. All right, let's speed it up. Oh, this is an awful map that we chose to do or to deal with the Orcs. Oh, they're all getting through. <laughs> they're all getting through. There's there's no stopping this. There's no stopping this. Well, we got through an extra wave. So we're doing pretty good. But even if we get all these regular orcs, there's no way we're getting the commander down. but maybe we can get some extra gems. Nope, there we go. All right, wave six, 801 gems acquired. All right, how do we level up towers though? You are back on my roots, Defender. Unbelievable, did you really send me back in time? Yes. And no, I did send you back in time, but it was not the same branch as you were before. I don't understand. Why? 
Every action, decision, or even the information in the past affects the future. That is a universal rule. Right now, you know different things than the old version of yourself did. What does that mean? When I sent you back there, these simple things made the state of information in that specific moment to be different than the original. And just because of that, a new branch flourished. A branch that can follow a different path, that will have a different destiny. A branch that can be healed. I understand now. As long as there are new branches, there is still hope for the universe. You are in charge of guaranteeing that hope. Don't let the corruption take more branches. Don't let it consume me. I'll try my best. Alright, we have 878, so we can grab... This could be pretty good. Extra attack speed. Extractor's health could probably be good as well. So we can purchase this, and we can purchase that. We unlocked this. We have new gems available. A catapult tower. Extra crit chance. Oh, precision two. Eternal blizzard spawns a blizzard around the ice mage towers. That's nice. I like that. Or extra chance to freeze on hit. Maybe we try the ice mages next. Chilling duration. These all, oh, these all cost 250 up here. Let, you know, let's grab this. Upgrade to level 3. Even though we were, like, permanently on level 1. Alright, we have two branches to choose from. Enemies have more physical resistance and do 2 damp plus 2 damage. No. We gotta go with this one. Enemies plus 5 base health per wave, plus 25% base health per wave. Enemies plus 30% health. Oh my god, it's all health. Towers ignore magical resistance and plus one random discovered spell card. Okay, we're going with this one. And we can... We can still only have a max of two. I wonder if we can change this in the skill tree at some point. Taking this off, going with the Ice Mage. We can't remove any of this. And we don't have any of these spell cards. Interesting. I guess we can cast some spells in the future. All right, so we have a mage tower here. Uh, oh, new tips. Tower upgrades are now available in the tower details interface. You can now upgrade a tower by clicking on them and then clicking on the upgrade button. Keep enemies under your tower's range longer to deal more damage. Make paths that force them to move around your tower so your towers can attack them more times. Okay, I've been doing like a big old spiral. I'm guessing that's the best to do? Should I try something different? I don't know if something different will be good. If we wall you off... This is this is not good. <laughs> this is not good at all. Uh, we put this like here. And... Oh, oh, I did not wall you off. Oh, we have made horrible mistakes. Okay, uh, free reroll. Two for one. We get this tower here. Okay, we're like funnel. <laughs> Let's see if funneling will uh, help. And actually... Let's do something like this. There, and this is for free. Uh, I don't like that at all. Like this, and like that. Another one for free. 120. Yeah, let's make like a <laughs> just a big long row. Actually, this one should probably be at the front of it. 
two for one at the minimum price. Okay, we are going to call in the wave. Maybe we can make like a larger spiral and just line up all of our towers. I'm surprised I managed to get this actually <laughs> being somewhat decent. It did not start off well. All right, flash sail, a recurve bow, bow, attack speed, and attack range. Yes. All right, we want to... What do we want to do? We'll do this. We're going to redraw. And sure, let's get a chilling here. And do something like this. And like that. And call in the wave. I don't know how much I like this. I mean, where am I going to... If they come out here... Maybe I, I have them... Maybe I put some more towers on this side. And block this off. To make like this S curve. Or this snaking path. And then I can eventually build out this way if I get that far. But yeah, maybe I block this area off. Oh, let's uh, speed up time here. All right, crit chance. Extra gold. Let's go extra gold. Again, it is shining at me. All right. Uh, we can do this. Grab this right here. It's not bad. And... Two times one for 120 would leave us with 137. So we can place some more of these guys. And I want you to be right here. And Place this there. Okay. Um, actually, I kind of want... I need some walls here to push them this way. Right next up, up to this wall. So they can be hit by these towers. Call in the wave. Are the waves the same every try? Yeah, because it's the goblin chief now. I guess the randomness are in the modifiers when you choose a branch. Oh, this might get through. Let's see. Burst, burst. Oh, yeah. Burst it down. Okay, not bad, actually. This is not bad. Oh, take him down. Excellent. Oh, we got the Cursed. Uh, cannot be played. So this is just a card that goes in our deck that can't be played. Spawn minions of their type periodically. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Not. We're going to take uh, two Cursed cards. It's going to use up our money. But then again, we do have extra gold on kill. Oh, yeah. Look at all the gold we have. Ooh, look at all this. Okay, we can... We can block that, which would allow us to do something like this. That's actually pretty good. And put this right there. Okay, it's it's, uh, it's coming together. It's coming together. All 
And this, this is very awkward right here. I would love to do that. Unfortunately, that will not come to fruition. Um, I don't quite have enough room here. So let's... Uh, man, what do I do? Put this here. And extend this out like that. We're going to place this one. Maybe. Right here. All right, call it in. Okay, this is the wolf wave. I feel like if every wave is going to be the same on every branch, we should be able to see what the wave is going to be incoming. And definitely be able to look at the stats or the details of the enemies. All right, another arcane mage tower. Oh, but we don't have arcane mage towers. Oh, that's actually pretty good, right? Because we only have fire as well as the archers. The purge spell could be good because we do have those curses. Let's go with the arcane mage. And we're going to put this one here. Grab. Oh, this is very awkward. Put that there. Oh, wow, we got both curse cards. That is awful. Grab this for free. Uh, we can't place anything else, so we're just going to call on the wave. Oh, no. Oh, wave five, worst wave. Actually, can we burst them down since there's so many? There's so many in a row. Oh, excellent. Actually, never mind. <laughs> we're doing swell. Also, we're getting that extra that extra speed by having archers next to each other. Right? On these guys. Yeah, 1.5 a second as opposed to 1.2. Arcane Mastery. We don't have any arcane mages out, so maybe extra chilling power or extra damage, we're getting a lot of speed. Let's grab the iron arrows. And I unfortunately can't put this next to another archer, but maybe I can get another one right here. Uh, we are going to need to do something like that. Okay. And we have to redraw because of the curses. Give me an archer. There it is, but it's too expensive. So, oh, everything's too expensive. This one, though, we can block off here. Or actually just use this one. All right, call it in. And we have, it's the Orc Commander, or is it Orc Chieftain? One of the two. But I think we're going to be okay. Oh, they do have some shamans mixed in there. Right, yeah, get some chilling on them. Oh gosh, take them down, take them down. Not gonna happen. Almost gonna happen. Oh, we just need a little bit longer. That's fine though, we're at 10, we're at 10 health. We get that extra five health from the skill tree. Mini bosses get Regeneration, okay, or the war wolves. Uh, no, regeneration. 
All right, we can place this here now. And we can most assuredly block that off. And send this right there. Two for one. Uh, we're going to move... These guys this ways. All right, call it in. Wave seven. Oh, a new enemy. What is this? Small flying creatures. The legend says they indicate the presence of vampires in the area. Aerial and weak. Oh, no, they fly right over. Oh, I was not even paying attention. Oh, but is that all? Oh, that's all. Okay. <laughs> that's good for us. There weren't a lot of them. Oh, I need a whole row of towers right here. All right, this is actually going pretty well. Attack speed on the archers. Extra chance to freeze on hit. I guess I got to go with the rare. All right, let's grab this one and we'll put it right. Actually, maybe put it over here. Like right there. It'll hit this path twice. Because if I wanted to hit twice here, I got to get them coming around the outside again, which will take a while. So, yeah, we're going to put it right there. And we're just going to refresh this. Oh, there's the arcane towers. Okay, everybody's coming this way. So, arcane. Oh, I should have spaced this out better. Actually, no, we spaced it out okay. And let's put an arcane right there. This is pretty cheap. We'll do that. Uh, this is also pretty cheap. All right, wave eight. We have another new enemy. Big, dumb humanoid beasts. Due to their size, it is difficult to hit anything below them. An ogre, it intercepts projectiles. All right, I assume it means it intercepts projectiles with, <laughs> with their giant head. All right, no problem. Oh, I want to go faster. Come on, come on. Take him out. All right, I definitely like this setup that we have going here. Chilled and frozen enemies, plus 10% or plus 10 additional magical damage from any source. We get a catapult. I want the catapult. I don't know what it does. Let's grab it. We can see it in our discard pile, right? Expensive tower that throws big boulders to enemies far away, but its projectiles are slow and imprecise. Slow attack speed, impacts of an area of effect, medium physical damage. Yes, absolutely. We got to redraw that. Oh, yes. Give me a catapult. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Um, where do I want you? Over here. This gets two lanes. Or maybe up here around the corner. Oh, I don't know what's better. I think this is better here. I love it hits all of this here. Um, we want to... 480 to redraw. Redraw. Give me some more towers. Yes. I uh, get some magical here. And that's all we can do. Okay, call it in. Wave number nine. I don't even know how many waves it goes up to. Oh, we got a new enemy. Oh, look at you. An alpha war wolf. Distinguished by its size and ferocity, an alpha war wolf is the leader of the pack. You're fast, you're big, you have magic reduction. 
Oh, and you guys are here too. This could be rough. Oh yeah, you avoid the boulder completely. These guys won't avoid the boulder. But maybe we can burst you down. Oh no. Oh, that was so close. I don't know how much damage these big guys cause. The mini bosses cause five. The small guys cost one, the minions. But I think we have this. And presumably though, if there are mini bosses, I'm guessing there's a boss, which could be at wave 10. Another cursed gem. Minions will teleport once when receiving the first hit. All enemies have a chance to be golden, but they're immune to burning, chilled, and frozen. We... We don't want this one. We'll choose the teleportation. And we have... Oh, maybe not a boss. Just regular minions. Okay, well, we are at over an hour, so that's going to do it for this video. Once again, this has been the demo for Iconia Defenders, and this game is actually a lot of fun. I love all the different choices in your towers and how you can... Oh, we didn't even upgrade, did we? Oh, look at this. Oh, I should have been doing this the entire time. These two are right next to each other, so these two are definitely the ones to upgrade. Yes, uh, but one, <laughs> once again, uh, I love the kind of minimalist style here as well. The skill tree, I love the roguelite nature of it with the different cards and the different choices and gems that we're choosing. Uh, very nice. Once again, as of this recording, this demo is available for you to download and try for yourself. If you want to check it on out, I'll have a link in the description down below where you can do just that. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching.